everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. Before we get into some NBA action for February the 6th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games here. We have four games we want to take a look at. First game... Scroll down through the Brooklyn Nets and the Denver Nuggets. The Nets have been a tailspin and are fifth in the Eastern Conference after losing five out of their last six games. The Nuggets have won five out of their last six games and they are sixth in the Western Conference. You can see the Nuggets are burning hot down versus dead status for the Nets. If you look at the over under in the last six games, you see that the Nets have been alternating over and under, and Denver has been involved in a lot of high scoring games. And over in five out of the last six. The score predictor has Brooklyn in a tight contest here, 110 to 108, 58% level of confidence. If you look at the power ranking indicator, clearly you can see Denver in the upward trend is up here at plus 26. And the Nets, who are as high as plus 27 back on January 23rd, have fallen all the way down to plus 16. If you look at the volatility oscillator, this will show how consistently, how consistently they have been performing according to their favorite underdog status. You can see Brooklyn is at plus 15, continuing on the upward climb there, while Denver is at plus 10. So both teams have been very consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. The line has not yet been set for this one, but I just have a good feeling for the, uh, the Nuggets. They have been playing much better ball lately. Don't have much confidence in the Nets at this point. I do like the Nuggets to win this game, but I would avoid the over and under. The Philadelphia 76ers and the Chicago Bulls. This is going to be a great game. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Sixers have won their last five and had an impressive win without Joel Embiid against Memphis, 122 to 119. The Bulls are also burning hot winners of four out of their last six. These are the top two teams right now in a tightly contested Eastern Conference. The score prediction has Chicago by 119 to 112 scored 57.7% level of confidence. You can see that the Bulls have been trending in games over the last three and four out of their last six, while Philadelphia is three and three as far as over and under in their last six games. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that uh, Philadelphia is at plus 26, Chicago is at plus 23, so it's very tight there. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. The consistency factor is always very important when, with regards to betting. And you can see Chicago at plus 18 and Philadelphia at plus 12. So again, both teams are really pretty consistent as far as their favorite underdog status goes. The lines have not yet been set for these games, but I do think this is going to be a higher scoring game. I do like the over. I do think Chicago will probably pull it out because they are at home, but this game could go to overtime. Atlanta and Dallas. We're not going to take a look at that one. Boston and Orlando. Next one I want to look at is Indiana Pacers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers are fourth in the Eastern Conference. You can see their average up winners of four out of their last six, and they are coming off a 93-90 win over New Orleans. And Indiana is ice cold up. They have won two out of their last three, and they are two and four over their last six. The power ranking indicator Clearly shows that Cleveland is the better team right now at plus 22 compared to plus 4. The score prediction has a surprisingly having uh, Indiana with a 4-point win, 104 to 100, with 80.4% level of confidence. A little bit of a surprise with that. Take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to the game. The line has not yet been set. But if we want to look at the over-under, you can see Indiana has been involved in high-scoring games trending over in five out of the last six, and Cleveland under in four out of the last six. So with a discrepancy like that, I tried to avoid the over-under, but I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit of a higher scoring contest in this one. Just a gut feeling, I, will, I would play the over in this one. Let's take a look at the stability factor once again. You look at the two teams. Again, here's two more teams that have been very consistent. Plus 16 for Cleveland, plus 10 for Indiana. I believe that Cleveland will be a home fair. I don't see why, why they would not. I don't see how Indiana is really going to win this game. Unless you want to pick an upset, I don't see the upset happening. I think it's going to be Cleveland and over the line. New Orleans and Houston. The last game I want to look at for this weekend, 
uh, February 6th is Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers are the eighth seed coming in in the Western Conference. They are average down at the moment. They are three and three over the last six. The Bucks are a game and a half back in the Eastern Conference. They are average up, coming off of a win and winners of four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Clippers have been trending in games over the line in five out of the last six, while the Bucks have been trending over the line in three out of their last six and under in the last meeting. Power rankings indicator shows that Milwaukee is at plus 20. The Clippers are at plus 17, so not much of a discrepancy there. If you look at the score predictor, though, it has Milwaukee in a pretty sizable margin of win, 121 to 108. That's substantial. A 13-point win on the road with confidence in prediction. A little bit higher than the flip of a coin at 51%. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. And again, two teams are consistent again. The Clippers not quite as consistent as some of the other teams we have seen. But still, both teams are stable, performing according to the favored underdog status. And being that Milwaukee will be a favorite, even though they're on the road, they will be a favorite. I do give the... Bucks the edge in this game, and I would bet over the line as well in this one. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the NBA as we're approaching the halfway point of the season on February the 6th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.